He says, welcome to the Grandview Light. Yeah, the greeting committee. So cute. Dogs everywhere. Hello, greeting committee. Hi. Hi. Okay, hello. So we are in Pikeville, Tennessee. I've got Vito here with me. He slept all day in the car, but he's still sleeping. He looks so freaking cute right now. Um, I drove about five hours today. My dad drove the first three hours. I was in class, so I was on my laptop, you know, trying to pay attention in class. I was really excited that we were on the way, so I kind of paid attention, but anyway, I got class done. We left around 9.30, and we got um, to the corrals at... I want to say at 5 30 so the sun was starting to set so I didn't really get to see the horses tonight so I plan on um, seeing them in the morning and getting there early and looking everyone over so yeah we are staying at the Grandview Lodge in Pikeville it's super cute there's a two-bedroom apartment here for us um, in the main lodge with a beautiful um, porch and like backyard area so I'm excited to see what it looks like in the morning and actually get to see the view so I think I'm gonna show you guys the three top horses right now but honestly I'm not gonna waste much time doing that because I know that once I meet them in person um, really pay attention to like how I'm feeling when I'm looking at the horses it's probably gonna completely change but just for fun <laughs> I'm gonna show you uh, my top three so First one is a four-year-old black gelding, 16 hands, really cute, um, kind of big, but I just, I like him. And then the next one I'll show you, so that was 8894. Uh, this one really caught my eye, he's a really nice color. I think a lot of people are going to like that about him. Uh, 9094. Five-year-old Sugi Buckskin, 15 hands. Look at how cute. So freaking cute. So I'd say that's number two. I have a couple picked. Let me see one more. Um, this one with the snip was really cute. 9083. Huh? He looks uphill. He's also 16 hands. Just a nice bay, cherry bay. So, who is this? What do you say? 9083. So, I plan to film a little bit tomorrow when I actually take a look at the horses. Uh, we dropped the trailer off. I came back here. I forgot dog food. I mean, I didn't forget it. I packed it, but somehow it didn't make it in. So, I had to go back to the store. My Apple Pay wasn't working. And it was just this whole thing. I got a late start this morning because my four-wheeler wouldn't start, but I'm nevertheless, nonetheless, whatever, really grateful to be here. Um, super excited. So tonight I'm going to stretch a little bit tonight because it's a lot of sitting and then probably pray some more, get in the word, read, kind of decompress and um, hopefully get a good night's sleep. I didn't sleep much last night because I was super excited about today. So... I will see you guys tomorrow. Gorgeous view of the lodge this morning. Vito! He's going potty. <laughs> so pretty here. It's kind of cold. Those are my top two right there, oh, right next to each you. other. Which ones? The that black one, one and then the Sudi Buckskin. Yeah. They're both like napping right now. It's a resale. And he's smaller, you know? But 8894 in the back there. The tall black one. And he's number one for sure. Is that a mare? There's only seven mares. Nope, it's a gelding. I like his body. What does that say? 83? 79 is the gray. No, this, this little this one. Bay. I like that bay. His tag is like too tight. 
It's hard to say. Well, they've got the bandana style. Do you see how they're in front, in front um, of the ears? Uh-huh. They've scratched and rubbed. And... Do they still give you an op? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we are still at the corrals in pikeville i just got done looking at horses looked at horses for about an hour and um got my spreadsheet i was walking around with my laptop because they were out of they were out of paper lists but i had everything color coded in the first place so i was kind of happy that it worked out that way um, two of my top horses that I showed you guys were in the same pen and the one with the, the cute bay with the snip was right over. All those horses are definitely going to go quick. We picked numbers and I got number 42. There are, I want to say 45 trainers, 47 horses. So that's a late number. Um, the girl that picked right after me got number one, but I know that I just have to have faith and that it happens for a reason. Everything is God's plan. And the fact that there's less choices is actually kind of takes a little bit of stress off of my shoulders because now I just know, you know, there's less to choose from and that's the horse that I'm supposed to end up with. So I will bring you along when we get to pick our horses. You saw me make the yikes face? I sure did. <laughs> you, made the, you made the yikes face. Yeah, I said, so I feel good. <laughs> Despite the, wow, you're still here. Already got it off? Bless your oh, no, heart. I just cut it off the deal. Oh. You took it off in the shoe. Wow, I feel like, um, I feel like someone just threw me there like, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a good Bubba. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, that was such a hassle. this morning we got in really late around 2:30. Uh, he was an angel for unloading he's been eating hay he hasn't drank much water which I'm a little concerned about but I'm sure he'll drink when he's thirsty um, he's awesome he's super I mean this is my first Mustang so it's really cool to see 
how tuned in they are. Um, he just picks up on every little thing and it's really, really cool. I think the trainability is definitely heightened with a horse that has so much, um, so many of his senses like awake right now. So definitely just probably gonna let him chill for today, let him graze. Um, but overall the experience to go get him and all the people I met there, it was really wonderful and amazing. And I had this one moment at the very end where I realized like, oh wow, like these people, we're all gonna be competing against each other in a few months and technically we're um, like competitors, but it just felt like we were all on the same team. So it was just a really cool experience and I'm really excited um, to get started working with him as my first extreme Mustang makeover horse. And he's just so freaking cute, look at him. Hi. <laughs> so yeah.